Excuse me, sir. Pull your knees into your chest. And then give them a circle, take them apart, press them away and together as they come into the chest. And then switch your direction, press them away with them together, take them wide. And, and, and today I do my big toes together, creating structure, movement within a contained structure. And I'm even taking my hands away so I bring more attention to how my core can be part of this. I'm more aware without my hands of keeping my center toned. And as I squeeze my knees in, I'm squeezing, adducting extra, extra with extra concentration and intensity. Pull the right knee into your chest, send the left leg up, and taking your time, begin to flex and point your foot. Notice that the foot is aligned with the ankle and knee, and ideally, I guess, the hip. Flex that foot and spread the sole open and the toes apart. Really reach through that heel, feeling that tone on the front of the leg. And then let's send that leg all the way down to the mat. Pull the right knee in closely and give that a circle. Keeping yourself, keeping the hip bones oriented toward the ceiling. Toned in the center. And then go the other way with that right knee. My left heel is still pressing toward the wall in front of me. Hold the front of your right chin, pull the knee toward your right armpit, get that nice stretch. Left hand smooths down that left thigh. Pull the right knee into the midline, shift your hips to the right, twist, look out over the right shoulder, melt your shoulder blades down your back. Take a deep breath in. Let out a sigh. Ah. Ah. Reach to the right arm, roll to your back, we'll go right into the center again. And this time, keep your knees together and circle them. Try uh, no hands. Try to keep everything else pretty still, especially those shoulders. Let them relax down to the floor. Go the other way. Keeping extra attention on squeezing the legs together. Seal them like. You've got super glue there. Feeling that A deduction. And I just caught myself squeezing my forehead. I'd like to try to not do that. And pull that left shin into the chest, left thigh, right leg up high, and flex and point that right foot aligned with ankle and knee. Take your time. Your foot might feel weird, stiff from sleep. Lately, I've had to get up in the middle of the night to take Lola out, and I just notice how sensitive my feet are mid-sleep. They're all curled up funny. And then by some miracle, they, they lengthen themselves out when I've had a proper amount of sleep. But if I cut it short, I really notice it in my feet. Hold that deep dorsiflexion and spread the sole of the foot a little more, spread those toes apart especially if it's hard to do that, really give yourself this time. And then keep them apart as you send that leg down with that strong dorsiflexion. Pull that left knee into your chest, give that a circle. Maybe take your hand off the knee so you're extra focused on the core staying tight. Go the other way. Hug that knee up, take your left hand around the front of the shin, pull that knee up toward the left armpit, and with the right hand, smooth down your torso and right thigh. This outer layer of fascia, I talk about it a lot, huh? but it's useful, even for um, the flexibility increasing. It's like if you can just soothe the skin, your like this with your hand, it's a, there's a whole system of, of therapy around this, right? Like it soothes your nervous system, just stroking the skin. 
Bring the knee into the midline, shift your hips to the left and take that knee across, left arm out to the side. Roll the outer left hip down and with your right hand, again, you can stroke from the left waist down to the outer left hip. Look out over that left shoulder and let your shoulder blades relax down your back. Take a deep breath, fill all the way up and a nice big exhale. Letting out any emotion that might feel trapped. Again, deep breath in. Ah, releasing it out. Left hand reaches a little farther. That will draw you hopefully onto your back. Let it pull you and give those knees a big squeeze. Take your hands behind your head and start to cycle left to right. Bringing some tone into the abdominals. Let the head fall back into the hands so that you're not holding that big orb with your neck. It's a thing. We use our neck instead of our core muscles. Um, and we think we're working our core and we're just tightening our neck. I've suspected this for a long time. And then when my friend was here, she trains um, swimmers and she was like, oh, it's a huge, huge issue. I know that they talk about it in Pilates too, but it's just interesting. Why would we do that when we have all these gazillions of core muscles to use instead? Let's do 10 each side, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep pressing the head back into the hands. I lost count four, three, and a two, and a one. And rock and roll forward and back until you find yourself into down dog. Downward facing dog. Make yourself comfortable once you get there. Inhale high up onto your toes and exhale down through your heels. Inhale up and exhale down. Do a few of these. Warming up the calves, ankles, feet, the whole back chain. And we don't get a lot of circulation. We don't get enough circulation down in this area. So it's important to get it warm. And then walk your feet forward up to where your hands are. The knees are, uh, sorry, the feet are pretty wide apart, about hip width distance or wider. Bend your knees, clasp opposite elbow, and bring those elbows forward, which is harder to do. It's easier to just let them hang by the knees. But we bring them forward, and that opens up the armpit um, and the front of the shoulder more. Hang here. Make sure the hips are hinged and that you're not putting any strain on your lower back. Tummy is pulled in strongly. Ah, shake your head, shake it, no, not it, yes. Take that tension out of the neck that might be accumulated there. And then release your hands down, toe heel your feet together. Bend the knees, pull the heart forward, sits bones, they move back. Exhale, fold, melt down over your legs. Inhale, plug yourself into the ground to rise up. Circle your arms, look way up. Bend your elbows, open the chest, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Inhale, reach to the sun. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step to plank. Left foot and right foot. Squeeze the midline, bend your elbows. Point your toes, roll through, up dog. Delicious. Exhale, take it back. Downward dog, ujjayi breath. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, raise your heels, exhale, bend the knees, float or walk up to your hands. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, nice deep forward fold. Toe heel your feet apart. Clasp your elbows with the opposite forearm in front. And again, turn your head no and yes. Encouraging those elbows forward. Hanging here, strong tummy. Deep breath in. 
Let out a sigh. Ah. Release the hands down. So heel your feet together. Inhale, gaze upward. Exhale, fold down deeply. Inhale, press down to rise up tall. Arms go up. Bend your elbows, shoulder blades on the back. Open the chest. Inhale, reach. Exhale, diving over. Inhale, look up. Step right and left foot back. Squeeze the midline as you take that push up. Inhale, gliding through, open your chest. Exhale, nice deep down dog, breathing here. Eyes resting between the feet. Inhale, raise your heels. Bend the knees, exhale, float up to your hands or walk. Inhale, look up, exhale, nice deep fold. Inhale to rise up, circle the arms. Little back bend here. Inhale, reach, exhale, folding over. Inhale, look up, step left and right foot back, shutter up. Herb de Mukha, pull through, look up, exhale back. Down dog, keeping the eyes still and the eyes soft. Inhale, raise your heels. Bend the knees, exhale, travel forward. Inhale, gaze upward. Exhale, gaze inward. Inhale, rise up, circle the arms. Arch back, bend the elbows right from here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, look up. Step right and left foot back, chaturanga. Inhale through. Exhale back. Right leg up high. Step the right foot forward. Pivot the back heel. Warrior one, inhale. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step back and lower. Inhale through, exhale back. Inhale, left leg up. Step the foot to the thumb, spin the back heel. Inhale, arms up, hips forward, core strong. Hands to the ground, step back quietly, low push up. Inhale, up dog, open the chest, and downward dog. Inhale, raise the heels, bend the knees, travel forward on them, exhale. Inhale, look up, exhale, forward fold, chair pose. Inhale, sit down low, find that little strange position. Sit deeply, squeeze that midline and fold forward. Inhale, look up, jump to low push up or step back, left foot right. Low push up. Inhale through. Exhale back. Right leg up. Step it forward. Spin the back heel. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands come down. Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale, left leg up. Step it forward. Pivot the back heel. Inhale, reach. Exhale, low push up. Inhale, up dog. And down dog, exhale. Inhale, raise your heels. Exhale, bend the knees, travel forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, nice deep forward fold. Chair pose, inhale the arms up. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, look up. Low push up, exhale. Inhale through. Exhale back. Inhale, right leg up, bend your knee. Open up that hip. Hmm. Cement knee, 
higher toward the ceiling. <clears throat> Square the hips, step directly in the center of the hands, warrior two. Lift your hips evenly, lunge deeply. So maybe a wider stance to go bring that front thigh parallel to the floor. Reach forward with the right hand, flip the palm up and stretch back. Glorious stretch here, bending the front leg forward into the right. Bring the right hand to the inner right shin, press out with the arm, press in with the leg. Rainbow that left arm up and over the ear. Look up into your left bicep. Breathe here. Stable legs, rotate the chest up. Good, good. Bring both hands down to the mat. Spin onto your left toes. Raise your right arm, simple twist. Squeeze the midline here. Look down, left hand goes slightly forward onto fingertips or a block and step up onto the right foot. Reach that left leg straight back and continue looking up to the right. Twisting half moon here. Right hand comes down, standing split. Let's lift that left leg up, up, up. You can open that hip up a little bit and then internally rotate that left leg, forehead down, and then place that left foot down next to the right or a few inches apart. Inhale, pull your heart through. Nice, simple back bend. Exhale, melt. Ah. Woo. Shake out your head and neck. Good. Lala. Bend your knees, raise your arms, sit to that chair. Nice, simple, simple, strange pose. Sink into your squat and fold forward. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, jump or step back, low push up. Inhale, glide on through. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, left leg up. Bend that knee, go for a run, let that hip open. Look under the right armpit to compensate for that twist. See if you can lift that left knee higher without um, cheating on that right hip. So pull that right hip back. Then square your hips, step up in the center between your hands, pivot the back heel, warrior two. Nice, generous stretch here. Matched with strength, we push down into the back foot, toning the inner thighs. Reach forward with that left palm, flip it up, reverse warrior. Big stretch for that left side body. Look up into that left arm. Arm going sort of behind the head rather in front of the face. Nice. Left forearm down onto the left inner shin. So we're on that kidney line of the leg. Right arm up and over the ear. Press down for balance with your back foot. Look up into that right armpit bicep and rotate your left lung up. Very nice. Good strength, ladies. Bring that right hand down, spin up onto your right toes, square yourself forward, raise that left arm into a twist. Right lung twists upward. Squeeze, adduct your buttocks. Yeah. Look forward, kind of launch yourself forward onto the right fingertips under the right shoulder. Lift that back leg. Left arm stays high, keep gazing up. Find the strength through squeezing the midline, tightening the tummy, and look up. Look down, standing split. Use that posterior chain, the muscles in the right leg. Lift it up. You can externally rotate it first, and then internally rotate. Reach through those right toes. Reach them up. Good. And then Feet together at the front of the mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, drop it into a forward bend. Take your hands behind your heels. 
slip the heels of the hands into the heels of the foot. I said that wrong. <laughs> so bring your hands under the heels of the foot and then squeeze your elbows back behind the calves. Super glue your chest to your thighs and fold. Tummy has to stay in a lot. Straighten the knees as much as you can to this super deep bend. Breathe for three big breaths. Two, pull with your hands, press with your heels. One, and slide your hands out from under there. Tone your tummy to roll up carefully, one vertebra at a time, be careful. Squeeze the, that abdomen, roll those shoulders to the ears, take them back and down, stand strong and tall. Glorious. Right knee up into the chest, hold your right chin, take your left arm up. Strong balance here. Left arm to the left, knee to the right, armpit. If balance is with you today, look over the left shoulder. Bring the knee into the midline. Take the left hand to the outside of the knee. Reach back through your right arm and look back to your right thumb. Turn your head forward. Raise both arms up. Hold yourself steadily. And release the leg down, arms down. Stand into Dasana and just notice the alignment that comes from balance. Perhaps you can sense that right foot going deeper into the earth. Or maybe it's the left. For some reason, for me, it's the right. Right foot does go heavy now if it wasn't. And draw your left knee into your chest. Right arm high, belly in strong, reaching up out of your low back. It's tempting to kind of fall into that space. We wanna, we do that enough all day. Pull up, take your knee to the left, arm to the right, look out over that right side. Strong tummy. Finding the courage to be off balance. <laughs> it's a lot of courage. Bring the knee back into the center. Raise both arms, stand tall. Right hand to the outer left knee, left hand reaches back. Look back to that left thumb. Four, three, two, and circle it down. Stand, left foot comes down, look forward. Raise both arms up, arch back. Both bring yourself back. So you're like a, like a crescent moon. Exhale, fold forward. This new moon in Aquarius. Inhale, lift the chest. Woo -hoo. Open those collarbones and slide those feet back into plank. Lower the right knee to the mat. Spin your left heel down, left arm high. Hips are under and lifted toward your chest. Right shoulder blade on the back. Stay here or if you'd like, lift that bottom knee off the ground so that you're kind of in a fallen tree. The right foot in that left inner thigh. Bring it down and stand on that right shin. So come up to stand, left leg is still out to the left, left foot comes down, you're in gate pose. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend over to your left. Nice, you can spin that le the left toes away from you or flex them up. Squeeze both thighs into the triangle of your pelvis. Right hand comes down, pivot your body forward and take your left leg out to the left and circle that left knee. See if you can get into that left inner groin. So you're on the right shin, the left leg is on the, left foot's on the floor and you're kind of like a spider or like a weird, I don't know. It's nice, you're kind of moving around and explore opening that knee and hip. Good 
Good. And then close it up. Bring the knees in toward each other. Inhale, lift to cow pose. Exhale, round. Deep cat. Inhale and arch. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Stretch your right leg back, leave your left shin down and take that right arm up. Hips are under, buttocks are under, hip points are lifted toward your chest. If you'd like, <laughs> lift that bottom knee and bring that left foot into tree against that right thigh. Hold. And bring that left shin down. Bring the right hand down, take the right leg out to the right side and playing with that leg so you can open up that hip. So kind of circling around there. Yeah, experiment here, going forward and backward. Maybe slightly changing the angle up. And then bring that knee into the middle. Inhale, a nice cow. Exhale to cat. Let's come up onto the shins, swim the arms back, grab hold of your heels, press your hips forward, camel pose. Opening the chest. Breathe slowly and consciously for three, two, and squeeze to come up, land on your hands and knees and shake your booty. Just in whatever way feels therapeutic here, wag it, wagu, you. One more time, come up onto your shins, swim the other hand back, grab your heels and pull up on those heels as you open the chest, feeling those shoulder blades wrapping around and lifting the heart higher. The neck is in integrity here, part of the spine for three and two, and lift and come on down. Wag you yourself, wag your tail, and let it wag all the way up to the head. Ah, deep breath, lion's breath out. Stick your tongue out, open your eyes extra wide. And then come on down onto your elbows. Let's get strong here. Nice, strong forearm planks. Squeeze the feet together, buttocks squeezing the midline, thighs zipped up, tummy zipped up, lengthening your underside forward, pressing heels back. Stay. Push down through your wrists. Push down through the heels of the, or sit the pinky side of the hand. Hmm, let it be. Let whatever's happening happen. Stay here or step that right foot to the right, back to the midline, left foot up to the left, back in. We'll do five each side, five little toe taps, four, three, two, and one. Hold that middle, hold it and then bring it down. Walk your elbows forward, spread the hands, shoulder assistance, elbow assistance, little sphinx here, curl the chest through, lifting the chin, looking up. Good, exhale, come down, pile your hands up, rest your forehead on your hands. <clears throat> Take your feet together and your knees apart. And my feet are together in the air and my knees are wide on my mat. Shift the frog position, so shift the froggy legs over to the left. Release your left arm to the side so it's not in the way and actually bend that elbow and you're gonna push yourself onto that right hip and try to keep that right thigh down feet together and just feel that stretch in the inner groins and that tone on the right butt.
and bring it back to the center. Fun. Relax here for a moment. Feet are still together. You're still in that frog. <laughs> and then shift yourself, your frog self bottom part over to the right. Um, wait, left? No, right. And then with your right hand push and go over toward your right. So your left leg is down, your right knee is opening and your feet are together. I feel a ton. You know what? I felt it both times on my right side. That's interesting. But I do feel a ton on my right outer hip. And let's roll it back to the center. Keep your frog. Forehead down. Shift your hips again over to the left. I'm confused in the directions I'm saying. I'm sorry. But this time go um, push with your left hand and go toward your right shoulder. So the first side. And now so look straight ahead and you're just going to clamshell your left knee down and up. Keep that left hip forward. So left knee comes down to meet the right knee and back up. We'll do 10. You can imagine your resistance or not. Eight, seven, hips are under. Six, five, feet are together. Four, three, two. Leave it up there and pulse it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four baby clams, three, two, squeeze it up and come to the center. Yowzers, take a breather. Lengthen tailbone, press pelvis down, suck tummy in. Shift knees over to the right, use your right hand. I guess, yeah, this is going left. So you're going toward your left shoulder. Look straight ahead. Feet are together and clamshell top knee toward bottom knee. 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold it up there and pulse it. 10, 9, good. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and row it to the middle. Windshield wipe your feet from side to side. Whew, nice relaxation for the low back now. Just using the feet, letting that roll out. Hmm. And then bring your knees close together, reach back for both your feet and press those feet back into the hands and lift up. And I'm really truly holding higher. I'm holding around my ankles today and lift up. Press pelvis down into the floor. Pick up those legs and rock to and fro, massaging those front organs. Whew. Getting that metabolism going. And just rocking this out for three. Nice deep stretch in the quads. Two. And release those feet. Hands by the side of the chest. Easy does it, Cobra. Elbows plugged into your side. Push back to a child's pose. Sink your hips to your heels as long as your knees are okay. Arms are forward. Come up on your fingertips, hollow the armpits, and sink the chest for a deeper stretch. Pulling a little tension through those fingers toward you will move those shoulder blades and open up your upper back more. Breathe along your spine. Breathe along your spine. There's a whole nervous system through there and um, it really is who you are. Our nervous system, our spine, our brain. And there's a whole immune system in there. And it's bi-directional. So the the messages from the brain go into the body, but also from the body go into the brain. So you want to send breath 
into the body, especially right now the spine, so that it tells the brain everything's okay. You can keep it peaceful. You can keep it chill. When you tell the brain it's not okay, the brain will make all these inflammatory decisions. It will start creating all these little fires everywhere, right? And we want to be like firemen, put firewomen. We want to be the hose putting out the fire. We want calm, peaceful, cool, nervous system, immune system, endocrine system. Pull the belly in, roll left, right, go left. Thank you, Nagoli. And then you're going to come onto your back. Up onto your back, bend your knees, feet flat, and turn your palms up. Just take a few cooling breaths in through your nose. As you breathe out, press softly on that the lower back imprinting into the floor. Not a big deal, just a little rocking of the pelvis, actually soothing. Inhale, a little sort of flat muffin, a muffin you forgot to put enough baking powder in, size arch in the low back. And then imprint your low back into the floor. Maybe like a flat, like a medium scone size arch lower back as you go forward. And we're dissociating the pelvis from the legs. This is so important. The legs often are just so hinged up to the pelvis that there's no distinction. We do want enough muscle tone there for stability. That part's really, really important. And at the same time, we want to have two separate legs that swing independently of the pelvis. Next time you have that imprint spine, go ahead and raise the hips up off the floor, the butt up, tuck your shoulders under. It's going to take a minute. Interlace the hands toward a fist and squeeze the backs of those upper arms into the ground. Put weight on the shoulders. Lengthen your feet in parallel and squeeze that tush up. That's all, try to keep your legs on tracks. So we have alignment from hips to knees down to the ankles and feet. Open broadly across your chest and breathe there. Sending messages in both directions from the brain to the body, from the body to the brain that all is good. Widen the upper back, release the hand grip, slowly roll it down. Arch that lower back, imprint that lower back. Rock that pelvis, calming the waters of the body, calming the thoughts in the head, gathering, gaining more electricity. We're electrical beings and we need that current to be strong. Water, fluids, circulation, they play a huge role in the amount of um, electricity, the current that we have at our disposal. Imprint that lower back into the floor, raise those hips up again. Tuck those shoulders under. This time, go into the outer edges of the feet, let the knees come apart, and then parallel. Let's do 10. The butt dips down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. We're oiling up these hips, getting them open. Three, I don't know if you're at the same count as me because I think I skipped a few. And one, raise those hips up, open the chest. Now, just for a little change, squeeze your toes and notice how that employs the muscles in the back of the legs differently. And then relax and widen your shoulders and roll down one vertebra at a time. Whew. Let the feet come together and the knees float apart. Adjust your shoulder blades down your back. Place one hand on your belly and one over your heart. And take a deep breath in. Exhale out the mouth. Let it go. Inhale through the nose. Exhale it out. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. 
Do this one with feeling. Inhale, pull up anything that's worrying you, anything stuck. <sighs> stuck. Take your first two fingers, place them over closed eyes, press softly on the eyeballs, just gently coaxing them, encouraging them back. They may resist and that's perfectly fine. Be a patient teacher. Patient with your rebel student. I am both the patient teacher and the just most rebellious bratty student. I am both these things. And here I get to witness that contradiction of self. My rebel is quieting down. My eyes are moving back. Honoring both my teacher and my student. Fingers sliding down to the collarbones and give them a good rub under the collarbones, encouraging all this lymph tissue to move and clear. This is so important. We have all these immune cells in here. This is where they, they have their wine. This is like their Napa Valley. They do a lot of sipping here, a lot of wine tasting here. They, they dip in, um, these cells dip into the lymph and they're like, how's everything going? Are there a lot of toxins? Do we need to fight any battles today or can everything be peaceful? Is, are we keeping it moving? Is anything stuck? So here they're testing, is it a good year? Is it a good batch of grapes? Or do we need to do something about these grapes? And we want these immune cells working really well and making good decisions. I'm now digging into my armpits with my thumbs and there's pain, pain's not the right word, but there's a uh, sensitivity here. This is where the lymph nodes get, there's a lot of them and we wanna unblock anything here. We want these tasters to be top notch and excellent um, discerners of um, what to tell, what to report back to the head conscious in our immune system. And then just to give it a little extra shimmy, a little extra shine, um, tap gently just above your heart. And then bring the hands to the back of the neck and rub, rub here like you're a getting a little cat massage and you're the both the person and the cat. <laughs> Grab hold of your head, gently pull it back, adjust your hair, and then take your hands to your knees, manually close those thighs. They may feel, they may feel a little bit tight. Pull the knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze here. Shift your hips over to the right, drop your knees to the left. Look out to the right as you reach up through the right arm. Left hand smooths down that right hip. It, it may have tried to sneak up toward your shoulder. That's okay. Just let it release. Let it know it's okay. Let the shoulders press down. And enjoy all the space that you've made. Squeeze the legs together, gentle contraction in the midline, legs to the center, hips jog over to the left, both knees fall to the right. Please remember you can always put a spacer between the legs like a block or a blanket, anything you have at your disposal. Gently encourage that left hip to move away from the waist. Left arm opens, look to the left. Enjoy the space of, that the breath has to travel here, so much room. And the breath is also like a scout. It, it moves through all the space that we give it and it reports, it allows our brain like almost a visual scan of the body. What needs help? What needs updating? Oh, that light switch is looking kind of shabby. I'm gonna put a new fixture on it. Right? It, it makes these upgrades when it can see them. The breath is, is 
one of the ways the mind use uh, things the mind uses to scan the body, which does a lot, has a lot to keep track of. Thank goodness we're only in charge of like 10% maybe. Squeeze the legs together and bring it back to the center. Hug your knees in. And then start to stretch all the way out. Lengthen your legs all the way out, out on the floor. Grab hold of that head and move your kepi around. Looking up and to the left and up to the right. Stretch your eyes. And really get the sides of the neck working. Oh, lower the head down. And um, I want you guys just to pick one spot in your body that feels bad. So maybe it's an itchy point from a bug bite. Maybe it's um, a shoulder pain or a hip pain or knee pain. I want you to put your hand on whatever it is. And your other hand, I want you to take your finger and um, you're gonna bring it all the way into your nose and all the way out and all the way into the nose. And you're tracking this the whole way with your eyes. So your eyes will crop and then they move as the finger moves. So you move, you move just like that. And the finger goes away and the finger comes into the nose and away. And then bring your hand down and see if that pain is different. Or if you just feel more, maybe a sense of ease. Arrange your shoulder blades down your back. Let your arms relax down by your side. Roll your limbs in and out. Perhaps turn the head up a few times until it feels subtle. And whatever emotion whether you know about it or not, feels that feels trapped in your body, breathe it up now like you're a vacuum cleaner. Pull it up from wherever it is. And it might be somewhere weird, like your left big toe. And exhale it all the way out. And again, maybe something stuck in your right hip. Breathe it in. And during the sequence, you might have noticed the stuck area. So I promise you there's stuck emotions there. Exhale. So even if you have no idea, remember what was tight in class and explore there. Breathe in. And exhale. And what goes without saying, but I'll say it, is whatever emotion is stuck there is the emotion you do not want to feel. So thank you for trying it. Thank you for going there and now let go. It's an important reminder that the brain, it's, it's a misunderstanding in, in teaching that the brain goes quiet. Um, the brain is like the heart. The heart beats. We don't want the heart to stop beating, right? That's, that's death. The brain is the same. The brain is thinking. It thinks the way the heart beats. But we are not our brain. Even though earlier I said we were. In some ways we are. Um, but we are not our thoughts. And there is a witness self that witnesses everything the thoughts the body the world we want to move the witness into stillness the one who is watching and even deeper then the one who watches is the true self. And that part is quite still. And eventually we merge the part of us that watches with the true stillness of self.
Please take a deep breath in. And exhale out. Breathe in deeply. And exhale. Take a deep breath and yawn and stretch and explore your mobility, your elasticity, both physical and neuro, your neuroplasticity that is expanded. Roll to your right, cuddle up and breathe skillfully, deliberately into your back, like you're feeling the wind, the a sail full of wind. And written across this sail is your focus for the day, is your intention for the day. Maybe it surprises you. Just let it be revealed. And then press down with your hand to rise, finding a seat. And find a seat that gives you structure, that holds this beautiful, brilliant spinal column upright well where your shoulders create a platform for your neck and head. And you let the muscles relax, trusting alignment. Raise the arms to the sun. We are creatures of light. Pull the light from the sun through your hands, down in prayer form, through the head, across the lips, to the heart. The heart is the most electrical part of the body. It needs this light for currency. Currency, interesting. And from this space, let's take an ohm. Inhale, generating even more power. Ohm. Raise your thumbs to your third eye. Go deep into that wisdom, the wisdom left to you from your ancestors. They worked their butts off to get you here. So enjoy that gifts they left you. Bow forward to your own wisdom, to your own gut knowing. Love you guys. May your day be beautiful and full of purpose and meaning. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.